If you're in the situation where you have a product that's not performing as it has been, or your account overall is declining in sales, we're gonna show you not only how to diagnose the problem, but also how you can get things sorted out. I'm Brandon from Kickstart PPC, and let's get into the video. So the first point we're gonna be talking about is bidding and placement issues. So when it comes to actually bidding for your account, sometimes the bid that you set could be a bit low compared to the market. And this often happens when you're not optimizing your PPC regularly, and it's something that can really detriment your brand, especially when it comes to what placements you're showing in. So for example, I've got an actual audit up here with someone else's performance here, just so you can see what I'm talking about. It's a very similar trend to what we see with most brands we audit, where the conversion rate is a lot higher top of search. And obviously CPC is a lot higher on the top of search and product pages compared to rest of search. So if your bid is slipping down, say you've got the 110 or a dollar and you haven't changed it, maybe it's below a dollar, then potentially missing out on top of search. And here you can see the conversion rate's much better and so is the ACOS. By not optimizing your bids regularly, staying at the top of search, making sure you're dominating those placements, you're potentially losing out on 50% of the sales you could be because product pages and rest of search will only get you so many sales. As you can see here, they're only 45% of the total sales. So by increasing to top of search, you can start dominating those placements. Now, when it comes to allocating your placements, you can be doing a couple of different things. Obviously, there are some people that lower the bid and they increase the placements, so they only show in top of search. But obviously, you wanna be getting all of the different placements. Maybe some don't convert as well, but you wanna have some presence in these. Because obviously, if you're showing on product pages, that can be beneficial as well, showing up on your competitors. So what I would recommend you do is make sure you have a top of search multiplier. Maybe you keep your bid around the 120 kind of mark, then you boost the top of search, maybe 10 or 20%, so you get that right CPC. That way, you're only spending high on the top of search. And that makes sense because the conversion rate's much higher, so it's gonna pay off if you do this. Now, another reason that your sales could be declining is down to the search volume. And this is something that we see quite a lot when it comes to seasonal particular products. So you can see here, we've got a keyword, which is Scotch tape. Obviously people are buying it for the holidays, so that's when the search volume spikes. But throughout the rest of the year, there is reasonable search volume, but nothing like what it is at Christmas. So what you wanna be doing is looking at what keywords you're targeting, see is there a fluctuating search volume? Sometimes in the summer, you might sell better. That's because there's more search volume overall versus the winter. So you need to know what keywords are getting what type of search volume, what time of the year. Because Scotch tape, for example, that performs particularly at Christmas, but packing tape and things like that will perform year round. So obviously that spike in the spring when people are mostly moving. So you do need to look at what keywords you can use and in what particular way. It's gonna be different keywords that are relevant to different seasons, different occasions. So you need to tailor your listing and tailor your brand to be relevant to that. So it's always a constant optimization process. It's always looking at what keywords should you be targeting, which ones shouldn't you be targeting, or maybe bidding less on. That's what you need to determine. So use a tool like Helium 10, use a keyword tracker, and get on top of this. It's gonna make a big difference and you might find some of your keywords that you're not bidding as high on might have higher search volume now than they did six months ago. So make sure you're increasing the bids and the placements in line with the market rate to get the best chance of showing up. Now the third and arguably one of the most important is conversion rate issues. And this is something that can be solved in most cases pretty easily. Of course, the star rating one is a bit harder to do. Of course, you need good feedback for that. So you will have to look at your product and see if there's any defects with it that maybe people are leaving you feedback on. But when it comes to pricing, as well as your listing, that's all on you to fix. You should be able to go in and actually have a look at your listing, see is there anything going wrong? Is there anything I can prove, whether it be the price, whether it be the title, bullet points, images, A plus content, you can sort that out relatively easily. So you need to be auditing your brand creating some new content and seeing what else you can do with it. Obviously, if you have a lower conversion rate, maybe that's because a main competitor came in and they've got a better listing, that's gonna decrease your ranking because Amazon bases your ranking off conversion rate and sales velocity. So you need to get your conversion rate up so you can maintain your rankings. 
Now, I wanted to also show you an example of one of our clients and how improving conversion rate has really helped them. So as you can see, they did have some listing issues which caused their conversion rate to really drop in, in those weeks at the end of October. And as you can see, when it got really low, of course, the sales start to go down. So going from 8,000 down to 6,200. But obviously, as things start to improve, we dealt with the problems on the listing, that started to make a difference. And obviously, coinciding with pushing the PPC, we managed to really scale up the sales there per week. So obviously, this is something you shouldn't be overlooking. Conversion rate will play a big role in terms of your success. So definitely take advantage of all of these things and get them to the best level they can be. Now, when it comes to price as well, you might find there's lower priced people in the niche. So maybe the keywords you go for that typically work well have a lot more cheaper competition on there. So if you plan to stay as a high priced alternative, you need to adjust what keywords you're going for. Maybe you need to be going for the more premium side of the market only instead of the whole market with your keyword targets. So you need to be pricing and also adjusting your PPC based on the price that you have. And that will make a difference on conversion rate. Conversion rate does get affected very heavily by price. So this is an easy way that you can boost your conversion, particularly if you have a good listing in terms of the, the content and the actual star rating. Now, the thing about these topics is when it comes to actually optimizing your listing, optimizing your PPC, there's always going to be different things that come up. You're going to find that there's new SEO tabs that you can be adding. There's new things on your listing that you can have. You can add a video, you can add content in the A plus content. And there's always going to be ever changing things on Amazon. So it's very important to be watching and being very vigilant on what's changing on Amazon, looking at your competitors versus yourself. See, can you do anything better in terms of the listing, in terms of the content and the PPC? And if so, make sure you're staying up to date with all the best practices on Amazon. Yeah, we found that helpful and hopefully give some insights and how to fix your Amazon account. Of course, it's not going to be a walk in the park. There's going to be a ton of different things you need to be doing, such as A-B testing, just to get your account back on track. So it's worth being proactive on this, making changes and being very consistent. You need to be looking for small changes within the data to see whether your changes have worked. So it's very important to be looking at the data closely each week and making sure you're optimizing everything. Now, if you have a lot of things going on within your business, you don't have the time to manage it yourself or you just don't know where to begin, you can contact us below, kickstartppc.com. Book a strategy call with us, see how we can help you out. Of course, there's gonna be a lot of things that need to be done so we can analyze your account and see if there's anything that you're potentially not doing. And if so, we can help you implement those on your account and hopefully get your account back on track. If you're a new seller just getting started or looking at launching, you can click the link below and that will take you to the Amazon Ads console give you some information on how you can set up your first ad campaign and what type of campaigns you can be setting up. Of course, we have lots of resources for you as well. So feel free and check out our channel, subscribe, stay up to date with everything Amazon, PPC and FBA. Until next video, hope you guys have a good one and we'll see you soon. Bye.